So in this video, we're gonna check out the new 7.6251 gun called Keltec RFB. I will go through how to get the gun, how the modding works for it, the good and the bad with it, and I will also show you some PvP highlights, and I will end it with a really successful raid I had on customs, where I bumped into a four-man squad. If that sounds interesting, then let's get started. Push him, push him. It is a fucking cool gun though, dude. I really like this gun though, but... Please make this gun a bit more viable, dude. I'm like low-key digging this gun a lot, bro. But it's not that good, but... Like, make give me a reason to play this gun, dude. So to start off the video, where do you actually get the RFB gun? So you can get it from Peacekeeper at level 2. For $545, which is around like 65000 Which I do think is a bit too much for this gun. But since you actually do unlock Peacekeeper at level 10... It will be a great gun to use in the early stage of the wipes. And let's take a look at the actual modding here. So if we take a look at the gun and the modding, the gun comes with 52 ergo and 159 vertical recoil, which is quite a lot in terms of recoil and not even that good ergonomics. It does come with rails, which is pretty good. And yeah, the modding is pretty simple here, so you can so you can instantly just attach a grip here. Usually what I've been playing is the RK1 because I like that gangster look. But let's just equip her for the lowest recoil possible because that's usually what people like to, to do. We can check the stats there. So RK2 and to get the lowest recoil you either want to use this Cobra Reflex Sight or for the best stats possible you want to use the HHS1 because you don't lose as much Ergon. It's only one less recoil with that though. We're going to equip the Embus here for one additional Ergo per each. In terms of mag, I think 30 rounders is the one I prefer. And then when it comes to the muscle is actually when the gun is pretty damn good. So you will put on the, the thread spacer and you can use so many different ones. You can use the, the A3 adapter, for example, which would be the best the recoil setup you can do. 43 Argo and 121 recoil. And I'm pretty sure these have the same fire rate as M1A, which is 700 RPM. So it's gonna... And you can get down the M1A to like 30. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of recoil there. Other you can do or you could use the, the wave suppressor. But yeah, I've been using this version the most. Actually not with this scope or RK2 though. But yeah, I've been using RK1 here. So it gets a bit more ergo. And I just prefer that uh, grip. And then I actually since this one does not have a laser. Which I think is huge that it doesn't have. And I kind of dislike that a lot. I actually have been fooling around a bit with the Holosun Reflex Sight that comes with a uh, laser. It's definitely not the best sight though, but, but it will increase your point fire, so I'll test it out a bit. But otherwise you slap on like a PK-06 or, or an EOTech holographic sight. Probably like this is what I would do. But that's when it comes to the modding, really simple modding. I wish you could do more with this gun. I wish you could do more with this gun because I really do enjoy this gun though. But I mean the price you pay for it and what you get. It's not that good compared to the other options out there. Like I can see this being good in the early wipe since you can get it at level 10. Because it will be better than Hunter but a bit more pricey. But when it comes against the M1A it just doesn't stand a chance. M1A is just way better. The only thing this gun got going for it is that it's shorter and a little bit easier to use close quarter. But I mean I'd rather trade like... 30 to 50 vertical recoil compared to having 125 so all in all i wouldn't recommend this gun unless you really like the gun and play it for the looks and just play it for that reason it is a super cool looking gun and it sounds freaking amazing when you shoot it though but i think that covers most of the gun though it's, it's like a gun between hunter and m1a but m1a is just simply too good hopefully they lower the price a bit for this one or make it a little bit better but with that said though, I'm going to leave you guys with some more gameplay. 
because even though the gun is not the best because it's still really good when you tap and when you hit your shots because we are rocking m62 m61 or m80 but i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more escape from tarkov footage see you guys in the next one Wait, I heard something. <laughs> Dude, this gun is so fucking satisfying. <gasps> but I haven't been to dorms in so long. I'm not a fan of getting there like late. Special on this side. Monkeys. I'm gonna fucking die here. baby oh there might be more <laughs> fucking snaking dude holy shit man Did you ever win in this game? Bro, I just fucking won before the like I won before the forum and dude, what you mean winning, bro? Level seven. Bro, I don't care what level they are, dude. It was still nice, okay. Should I go and shake? Yeah, fuck it. Okay, remember I dropped the backpack here, okay? Shit, I don't have a backpack with me now. Man, it was like a red key card there, dude.
fucking hell, dude. Oh my god, man. Don't have dorm keys? Yeah, dude, but like... Do, do you see? Do you see? Like... I don't have any money, though. Oh, that, that actually worked. Okay, remind me that I have to put fucking shit in that. God damn it, bro. If I die now, I'm gonna be a bit sad, dude. The key tool is like 600k, right? Isn't it? Like, the key tool is fucking poggers, dude. Okay, I love that you can drop the backpack, but the amount of sound it makes, though. I mean, with my luck, it's not up. Nope. It's not up, right? Oh, it is. Nice. My god, is it annoying, though, that... <laughs> that I didn't have any money in my... In my sick case. It was definitely worth the loot uh, mark, dude. That was a good ride. One, two, three, four. Four X everybody. <laughs> Who needs the head eyes, bro, when you play M62, okay? Yeah, let's see the loot actually. Not much loot actually. I mean can't complain. But they, they didn't have that good stuff though, that's for sure. But you know, Ignolic, uh, holy shit dude, that guy had some Ignolic.